Mark from Chefs Media. How are you? Hi, Colette. How's things? Good, thanks. Now, you're taking us around the markets. What can we expect today? Well, today's going to be full of goodies. We're going to uh, meet some of the incredible stallholders that are here. Uh -huh. We're going to look at produce that comes from right around South Australia. Sure. Uh, we're going to taste oysters. We're going to taste lemon curd tarts. We've got a real liner. Excellent. Well, we've got our group of 10. Shall we start the tour? Yeah, I'd love to. Let's do it. Has anybody ever done an oil tasting before? No? When you judge an olive oil, eight points out of 20 go to the aroma of the oil, how it smells. Uh, now, when you taste it, you put a little bit in your mouth, you roll it around in your palate, and, uh, and you suck air through it as you swallow it. I'll show you. It feels a bit daggy, but, but like that, and then suck air through the oil. But quite, this is a very famous dish. You know this backwards. This is the bruschetta. It tastes so much better with the bread and the um, tomatoes. This cafe that we're standing behind, uh, it was started by a family from Italy. Lucia and Pasquale, they came from Italy as post-war migrants in the early 50s. And uh, Lucia found herself in Australia with a, a, a cuisine which wasn't as sort of vibrant and tasty as her own. So she started to grow her own tomatoes and her own basil and she started to cook at home. And in 1957, she opened the first Italian cafe in Adelaide called Lucia's. And uh, Lucia's is now run by her two children, Nikki and Maria. And their, gen their children now run these extended businesses. So this is three generations of one family still here, still influencing the food scene in South Australia. Now what you might also want to know is the Lucia family introduced coffee and pizza to South Adelaide. Thank you. Welcome to the water shop. This is probably the first water cafe you've ever been to. Uh, it was an idea that came from Milan and uh, is now uh, very successful here in Adelaide. It's a combination of uh, waters that come from right around the world, uh, some which have great therapeutic value, some which have uh, just, just taste good. Hey Mark, do you know of any restaurants in South Australia that um, support organic movement? Yeah, the first one that comes to mind is a restaurant called Bliss, which is a, um, it's right near the market actually. It uh, uh, has its own yoga school and has its own cafe inbuilt, and they do a lot of sort of alternative stuff. So um, certainly there's an emerging market for restaurants to be using certified organic food. Okay, so Ben, what um, do the chefs look for when they're selecting their meat for the restaurant? Each chef is different. They, um, some people like, some chefs like having meat that's got a fair bit of marbling, a fair bit of fat through it, so it's going to give them moisture, tenderness. Um, some of them like them lean. They also like particular sizes of um, cuts of meat. They want 250 grams, 300 grams. They want particular size. Everything has to look the same, be the same, so that if two people order the same thing, they, it's going to be exactly the same and not hers is bigger than his or whatever. Now, one of the great benefits of actually coming to eat at the market most of the cafes actually put together their menu derived with all the produce straight from the stalls, just like Zed's. And this place is actually quite popular with the local chefs. They come here and shop and enjoy a bite to eat as well. Yay. Fantastic example of ethnic diversity here in the market. Uh, this is a stall that is um, actually started by a lady from Kazakhstan. Uh, there's nothing like a good bum burner, hey? Where can I find a restaurant that matches their wines with their cheeses? Um, recently I've been up to the Lane Vineyard, yep. who do an amazing spread up there. Um, just basically things are targeted to match specifically with their wines on offer. But when you come to South Australia, one of the things you've got to try is the Smoky Bay oysters. And uh, you've heard of Coffin Bay and you've heard of, uh, uh, you know, Sydney Rock oysters, but nothing goes quite like the Smoky Bay oysters. So we've got something for you to try today. Well, there you have it. If you want to check out the central markets in Adelaide, what better way to do it than with a personalised tour? Thanks, Mark. Great, Colette.